If you want to know the best way to manage all of your WordPress websites, then this video is for you. Hi, my name is Adam from WPCrafter.com where I make WordPress videos for non-techies. And I know for me, as soon as I started to get two, three, four websites, then 20 websites, it is a nightmare to keep tabs on all of them and to keep them all organized. And it gets exponentially worse if you're managing clients websites and you're keeping tabs and keeping eyes on them, keeping them updated. It could be a lot to manage. Now, the good news is there are different options available to manage all of the WordPress websites that you have control over very, very easily. And this is something that you want to think about if you have more than one website. Even if you have just two or three websites, you're going to want to pay attention to this video. And I'm going to go through all of the different options out there. I'm going to share with you all the ones that I've used. And at the end of the video, I'm going to tell you which one I am still using and I think is the best solution for this problem and I'm also going to show you how to use it yourself so these solutions that are there there's some that are what's called SaaS software as a service so everything's kind of hosted in the cloud the link and the control panel to all of your WordPress websites and there's also two that are self hosted that means you would have full control full reign over everything full control over your data but you would be self hosting it now, some of these options, they charge uh, per site. Some have a lifetime fee where you just pay a lifetime fee and you can have as many sites. And some of them, they're actually free platforms. And that's actually kind of the direction I notice a lot of them going into is to providing a certain amount of websites for free. So if you have less than 10 websites and your needs are very basic, then you're going to definitely find some free options out of this video. And some of these solutions, they are very feature rich. You can automate not just updating your plugins and themes in WordPress. You can have a central control panel to automate making sure everything's backed up, monitoring the uptime, generating reports for clients, based upon the things you might have done to the website for them in a certain period of time, uh, managing WooCommerce store, managing and, and pushing out new content, managing comments, uh, doing malware scans. Uh, there's just so many different things that you could do when you're using one of these control panels. Well, enough yapping from me. Let me just show you some of the options and I'm going to go over the main four options. The first one is called Manage WP and I think they might have been the first platform like this. I could be wrong. It's a tie between this one and another one I'm going to show you. Now, this is a software as a service. You, you, They have different pricing tiers I'm going to show you in a moment. Now, keep in mind that this was a privately owned company, but a few months back, GoDaddy did purchase them. And some for some people, they see that as a big negative, uh, having anything tied to GoDaddy because it's a software as a service. Who knows what's going to happen to your customer data or what or, or that kind of information. So, you know, that's something to definitely think about. I'm not implying or saying anything bad is going to happen to your customer data if you have them in this managed WP platform. I will say that the platform that's going to have the prettiest interface is most likely going to be Manage WP, but it's also because it's the most expensive. So they actually, I don't think they had this before, but they have it now. They actually have a free tier where you can actually start using the service for free and it's going to give you access to some of these options here. Uh, but if you scroll down, these are really the options you're going to want if you're doing this for customers or even yourself. So if you want automated backup, if you want a white label, uh, um, so the white labeling is an interesting point. Just so you know, the way these all of these uh, solutions work, you have a control panel, and then you have to install you have to install a plugin on the website that generates that link. And so when they say white labeling, it's white labeling that plugin that gets installed on the website that you're remotely controlling. That's what white label is. If you wanted to analyze SEO rankings, uptime, advanced reports. Now look at that. Each of these things is one or two dollars per month per website. So you can see how it's going to get expensive really quick. I personally 
don't use Manage WP. I've never used Manage WP because I don't like the way they price it. Uh, so this is uh, probably though the fanciest interface and the prettiest interface. All of these platforms are pretty much going to do the same thing. So it really boils down to cost and you want software as a service or self-hosted. That's just my opinion. Okay, so this is Manage WP. They're, they're good. Uh, here is iThemes. They came out with something called iThemes Sync. And it does a lot of the same stuff. And you can read all about it here. Let me scroll down to the pricing all the way down here da, da, da. okay they have a free tier you're gonna get 10 websites and then they have probably the one of the most reasonable price for the software as a service options so if it's just 25 websites you're only paying fifty dollars a year now that is actually not that expensive for everything that this is going to bring to, to you and I'm sure the package that it offers you the features that it comes with are very complete as far as backups go and all that however uh, what I don't like about it is I'm I'm not a fan of backup buddy they also make plugins I themes and one of them's backup buddy some people swear by it but that's because it was probably the first real commercial backup solution that was out I find it very outdated and slow unreliable and everything bad that you can think of has been my personal experience it's not an opinion it's 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 actually based on experience with it updrafts for a commercial backup plugin is way way better uh, from my experience so if you have a question about my experience I'll add it down below but uh, here is iThemes sync now we're gonna get into the self-hosted options one of them's called infinite WP and I actually own this I was using this when they first started really going after this these paid add-ons and I actually have the full package and their pricing's a little different, uh, but it's definitely a bit more innovative. Now, this isn't WordPress, so you're installing an application on your server. It's not hard to install. It's just not WordPress, so it's not going to look like WordPress or anything like that. It looks like a real control panel. And for this, you can choose any of these packages. Now, you can see it's more expensive than iThemes Sync is, but it's more feature-rich than iThemes Sync. So if I went to add-ons, when you're getting any of these packages, it's going to include all of these really innovative add-ons right here. Uh, staging add-on, you're not getting that with iTheme Sync. That's pretty awesome. Two-factor authentication, client reporting, scheduled backups, and there's multiple locations where you can back your websites up. You can clone websites through it. You can have multiple users, and you can actually have this team environment where you can maybe have some people that work for you and you give them permissions of what they can and cannot do to these sites. You have scanners for malware, you have a firewall, monitoring uptime, Google Analytics, and, a, and the list goes on and on and on. You really get a lot more with Infinite WP than the other two platforms even offer. I guess the question is, do you need some of these extra things? And then there's Main WP. Now, I'm going to just tell you, finally, I use Main WP. Even though I own Infinite WP, even though there's free tiers on the other two, I use Main WP and I have been using it for the last two years. And they have a, a free version that I'm actually going to install in this video. Uh, but it's the same thing where it is actually so easy to implement. It's the, the control panel is a WordPress plugin and you manage everything in the back end of a WordPress installation. So it is so easy to use. You're already used to the interface. You don't have to learn anything new. It's just a matter of installing it now the core plugin is free and they have add-ons as well now you can just purchase whatever add-ons that you want or you can buy the entire bundle on a monthly or a lifetime package so you can click right here and let's look at some of the extensions they have there's just so many uh, a lot of the same things I listed on infinite WP you have the same extensions here your uptime monitor you can use the backup solution of your choice and so what that means is if you want to use Backup Buddy, you can use it. If you want to use Blog Vault, if you want to use Backup WP, if you want to use 
updrafts, which is my favorite. And keep in mind, this is the only solution that supports updrafts. You can use that as well, and it also has its own backup extension, although they realize that people most likely want to use their specific plugin. And that's one of the things I really love about this is I want to use updrafts. I want to use a management platform that lets me use what I want to use. It lets me have the choice versus doing it for me. So um, you have all these various options here. Uh, bulk settings manager, cloning, client reports. Uh, you can customize some of the way the children's sites back end looks there's four pages of extensions there's woocommerce extensions i'm not going to go into each and every one but it's definitely a lot more deep than all the other platforms let's uh, take a look at the cost now you can purchase them on an extension by extension basis and just get what you want you saw a lot of the extensions might have just been a 30 dollars one-time fee or a 40 dollars one-time fee so this actually ends up being less expensive because you're just getting what you want or what you need now here is the uh, full packages though if you just wanted everything it's either thirty dollars per month two hundred dollars per year or three ninety nine four hundred bucks uh one time lifetime fee so you're only paying four hundred bucks and you don't have to pay anything else moving forward if they add new extensions and release new features and extensions you're not paying for that which i think is pretty awesome. Now, if you're an agency and you're managing lots of websites for people, I think that MainWP is the best way to go because their extensions, in my opinion, are more innovative than what you're getting from the other platforms. From all the other platforms, I find that the main WP extensions are just better. And I really think it boils down to they allow you to use what you want to use. So for instance, on most of my websites, I use WP Rocket, which is a caching plugin. Well, they have an extension for that, so I can easily apply the settings that I want to all of my websites. Uh, for backup, I like to use updrafts, although I've been using WP Time Capsule, I still have updrafts and they let me use updrafts and I can easily configure every website with one mouse click and when I add a new website, I can easily configure it as well. They let me create plugin bundles so I have, can have my own list of plugins and just with a few mouse clicks I can install them on any website that I want so when I add a new website it's really easy for me to get all those plugins installed in it they also just re released a new version of their client reporting module which allows you to make beautiful reports that you can send automatically to your clients that you're managing their websites which is really good to justify what you might be charging them per year or per month. And I really, really like that. You know what? On second thought, I'm going to go back and let's just look at all these extensions right here because I think it's going to be worth it. So let me just change this here. So it the bundle has 39, uh, looks like it has 39 extensions. Uh, I'm going to scroll through them and say what's very interesting to me. Bulk settings manager, broken link checker. The others don't have that. It will find broken links that you might have. Branding, so that means you can brand or white label or even hide the child uh, plugin. That's really good. Client reports, that's just recently been updated. Clone to clone websites. Custom post types, so you can actually manage content on custom post types. That's new. Manage con comments. You can add code snippets. Here's the favorites thing I was telling you about where you can have your favorite plugin that you can easily push into your websites. I really like this file uploader. So essentially, if I have a plugin that I have to manually update on all of my sites, I can actually just upload it here and push it out to all of those websites. So it is almost like a one-click update. Uh, well, maybe like a two-click update. We've got Google Analytics. We can manage our links, we have iThemes security, 
that's the actual security plugin I use is iTheme security. So I don't have to manually configure those on every website. I just click one mouse and it's done. Maintenance is good. It will actually perform maintenance routines on your database and it will also clean out some of the things in your WordPress website like revisions and deleted things and auto drafts. You get this maintenance that I didn't really see on some of the other options. You can use Backup Buddy. You can monitor page speed. You can drip out posts. You can use Pewik. I know I'm pronouncing that wrong. That's like Google Analytics, but it's self-hosted. You can do security. You can spin WP Rocket. That's what I use. Team control. So you can have team members that only have certain rights to the websites. Here's the updrafts extension and just check that out. It's actually free. Uh, so you can start using that now. Uh, URL extractor. Here's some WooCommerce specific stuff. So you can get some snapshot of your WooCommerce stores that you're managing. Scans for vulnerabilities. WordFence. WordPress SEO. Yoast. Wow, the list just went on and on with the things that you can do here. So essentially, it's just super easy. Uh, you go into the back end of your WordPress website. Actually, let me go to this one. Go to plugins, add new, and just enter in main WP. There it is. And so for the control panel, you want to install this main WP dashboard in. You would just install that, and it would convert the website to be the control panel. I'd recommend not putting this on your main company's website. I would maybe set up a subdomain and call it whatever you want to call maybe dashboard.yourdomainname.com maybe something like that and then for your children's sites you're going to install this right here main wp child and what that's going to allow you to do is manage that particular site when you install it it's just going to give you a code you copy and paste that code into the dashboard app and wherever you have that installed and you are set the link is good to go i currently have about 25 to 30 sites at any given time with main wp and what i do is i actually have it automated so essentially it's going to check in on every website once a day and on my approved list of plugins and themes, it's going to automatically update those for me. So I don't even really have to do anything. It automatically is going to manage those sites for me. I love it. And lastly, right here is actually something pretty innovative that they have. It's this key maker. You'd have to want to look at that on your own. And this is probably the most innovative thing that they have. Essentially, what this allows you to do is any area of your WordPress website that you have to put your settings in and stuff like that, even if main WP doesn't support it with this add on, you can actually take a site, put your settings in and you save this key thing and you put it into your main WP dashboard and now you're going to actually be able to automatically configure those settings on any site that you want. So essentially it's going to allow you to manage any plugin that you would want to put on your WordPress website. So even if it's that fringe offshoot plugin that no one has any integration with, with this key maker, you can actually integrate with it. They have some videos on it that show you how to use it. I kind of think that might be the most game changing but under undervalued feature in this entire platform is that you can literally bulk configure anything on any WordPress website with that. And this is something that you can't do with any of these other hosted platforms. Hey, sorry for the long length of this video. If you want to manage multiple websites, I choose main WP, but all of these platforms I talked about today are great options. I've gone ahead and put links to everything down below in the video description box, and I'll also add them to the pinned comment below. So if you have multiple websites that you're managing, I would love to hear what platform you think is best and why. If you can just add that down in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear your opinions on these different platforms that I've talked about today.